Welcome everyone, this is XDA Dante 63 and I am here to show you the new tutorial for the T's and Watches. It's about time that I actually release a new video since the old video is no longer uh, making any sense and of course there's a feedback and all so I can explain even better and hopefully the video will be shorter. Now the first thing I want to say, this does not void your warranty, this does not require root, there is no damage or anything bad from this mod. This mod basically will allow you to use Samsung Health Monitor on any device, any country, with age lower to 16 years old. And, um, well, that's as far as I remember for now. And uh, let's proceed. Okay, so first thing, I'm going to go through the, the Google Drive. So there is a support me. If you want to support me, you'll know where to support me. And uh, there is lots of links and all. And the readme, you'll see the features of the Samsung Health Monitor. I always post the mobile application on the root of the uh, Google Drive. And it always starts with the word phone. You install this on your phone. The latest version will always be in here. And anything that is old will be in the Samsung Health Mod history. Original Samsung Health Monitor, you can find it right over here if you ever want to experiment or you want to do, um, you want to install the original and try it on your phone and see whether it runs or not. Enable BP Sync is something that I have uploaded a video about it, and you can see the link in the description later. I will not talk about this. Right, and then you have the Tizen Watch uh, Active 2 and uh, Watch 3. Inside, right over here, you will have in the root of this uh, folder is the watch Samsung Health Monitor mod okay and right over here you will have the mod history the same logic you will have um, also an original installer so basically if you have Samsung Health Monitor on your watch and it has both BP and ECG but your Samsung Health Monitor is outdated you can use the installer to push the, um, the widget from your phone to your watch however also you've got also the original Samsung Health Monitor widgets right over here now you have a folder read me how to guide right over here with multi languages you're gonna choose your language and read so I'm just gonna open this one right over here uh, and there is a note if you have a Linux or a Mac and you're facing issues and using the tools or all just use a virtual machine with the Windows installed on it and just proceed with the steps Right, so the requirements right over here, you will need to download JDK 15 and install JDK 15. If you're not sure what what Java you have on your machine, open command prompt and type Java minus minus version. Move this right over here a bit. There we go. Uh, so Java 15, and this is the date and version. If it shows Java 16 or Java 8 or whatever Java that it shows, please uninstall any JDK that you have on your machine and install JDK 15. This is a crucial part if you don't want to have any issues later. Moving onwards, um, you're going to download the APK Easy tool. Uh, grab it from the Google Drive, not from the XDA thread because on the XDA thread the configuration and everything has been changed and uh, the newer version has a new jar file which may not um, compile the current files that I have provided. Uh, download the Fit Installer from my Google Drive and not from the XDA because I have modified it to make it much simpler for you to use. And download the Tizen Studio 411 64-bit um, or you can download it from the website as well, it doesn't really matter. Um, you'll install this only after you have installed the JDK 15. And finally download the mod. So let's go ahead and open the Google Drive right over here. So I'm just going to copy those two for me and place them on the desktop. There we go. I no longer need the Google Drive, so I'm just going to close the window. So this is the mod. So I'm going to open this folder. There we go. I am going to open the, the RAR file. So I'm just going to grab and drop everything outside on the desktop. So that's the, uh, the Tizen Studio. Now I'm just going to open the JDK 15. So I'm just going to grab the JDK 15 outside. I am going to open the Fit to Installer. I'm just going to drag the folder outside. I'm going to open the APK Easy tool. 
and drag the folder outside. I'm going to close this now. I don't need this, um, not this folder, but tool 64, no longer need them. Okay. So I'm going to proceed with installing the uh, JDK 15. It doesn't matter if it will override my files. It's fine to ask me if I want to reinstall it. Yes, I would like to reinstall. So it will proceed in reinstalling. Next, next. I will close. Now I'm just going to delete this one because I'm done. Now I'm going to proceed with the Disney Studio. Just going to run it. Get prompted, verifying installer, extract is in studio, SDK to zips installation process is starting. If it doesn't start, hit the window logo and R on the run command, enter um, percentage temp percentage, and then hit the OK. There is your Tizen. Um, open it, and then you have the installer to jar. Double click on that, and then you'll be in right here. Hit the accept. The path seems to be fine. Hit the install. If you see any errors that says there is no file extension, ignore those errors. Launch the package manager and hit the finish. So the package manager now is going to run. Now the Tizen uh, Studio Package Manager, go to extension SDK, go down. Hit on the install for the wearable extension hit the yes and accept and then go to the certificate extension hit the install say accept go to progress wait for these um, to be installed as you can see it says all installed and the progress is 100 percent now hit the, close the window check the box launch the Tizen studio and hit the ok Wait for Tizen Studio to load. It will ask you for a workspace. Let the workspace be something like C Drive Tizen Workspace. Use as the default. Do not ask again. Launch. Okay. This is your Tizen Studio. What you're going to do now is going to be opening the device manager. This is your device manager. Okay. Now you're going to go right over here, which says uh, remove device manager. No, in here. Go ahead and disable your antivirus and firewall. This is a crucial part. And Windows Defender if it's also enabled. Now on your watch, let's just see right over here. Sorry about that. Go to settings, scroll all the way down, about watch, scroll down, enable the debugging, turn it on, go back, software, scroll down, version tap, developer turned on, okay, now scroll down to connections, switch off the Bluetooth. Go down to Wi-Fi, change it from auto to always on, wait for it, it will connect to your, uh, it will connect to your Wi-Fi that is, uh, for me, uh, the same network of my PC. Now open the Wi-Fi network, tap on that, go down, there is the IP address. So back to the PC right over here, hit the plus sign. I'll just call it watch um, 3. Now I'm going to enter the IP address. As you can see, this is the IP address. So I'm going to enter it 192.168.0.134. Then I'm going to hit on the add and then I'm going to hit on the connect. Check the watch if it asks you for prompt saying like, for example, RSA connection and all allow. If it doesn't, then you're actually connected. Close this window, but do not close this window. Keep this window open. Right. Let's minimize. Now we go to the certificate manager. 
Open the certificate manager. Let's proceed in creating a profile. Hit the plus sign right over here, Samsung, and then proceed with the mobile wearable. Hit on the next, give it a name, so I'll call it an SHM. Then hit on the next, create a new author certificate. I'll just call it SHM again, because I don't really care. And the password, as I have mentioned in the readme file, I'll just say capital A, B, C, one, two, three, four, five. A, B, C, one, two, three, four, five. Hitting on the next, log in to Samsung. As you can see right over here, it says, um, congratulations, your new author certificate is located in this path, right? Hit the next. Create a new distributor certificate, next. Now it keeps things as it is. Now as you can see the DOID, because your watch is connected, you have your DOID right over here. Hit on the next. It will tell you, congratulations, your distributor certificate is located at this path. Now let's go to that path and grab the certificates. As you can see, I have 10 certificate files right over here. I'm gonna control C to copy the files. Now minimize this. I no longer need this one, so I can close it. Uh, minimize the Tizen Studio. There you go. Now let's open the Fit to Installer. Right. In Fit to Installer, you have um, a README file. Um, you have the search folder. Let's go into the search folder and paste. These are the, the 10 cert files that we created, certificates, okay. Um, inside the sign me, I am going to grab the mod, as you can see. I'll go in here, right over here. Okay, so the fit to installer backup for you, basically if you actually accidentally deleted anything, you can just open this and restore it right over here. Or if you feel like you want to have a fresh copy. Right, let's go. So let's go ahead and run this um, batch file. So as you can see right over here, this is something new you have not seen before. So you have three options. Of course, it's actually two options because the third option is basically exit. Um, so we will proceed. We don't know. We're not going to install because we did not sign yet anything. So we're going to hit on the one and proceed with the option selected. So in here, there is a confirmation. Make sure that the cert folder has your certificate, 10 files and sign me has your mod that you want to sign. Now enter the password. So if you entered wrong password, it will just return, for example, an error. Let's have a look at the error. This type of errors, it would show if you have not entered the correct password, right? So if you can, it'll tell you process complete, press any key, frequently asked questions, press any key. We have an error, so we're going to try again. But what if actually the cert file or folder does not have the certificates, what would happen? So let me just uh, go ahead and uh, remove this cert. Now I'm gonna come right over here and say repeat, and I'm just gonna enter whatever. This error will say no existing in all. It will throw an error. Okay, process complete with the fact again. So back to this menu. Now I'm just gonna bring the cert files and this time I'm gonna insert the, uh, the password correctly. Right, so I, play, uh, I paste it right over here. Now I no longer need this, I can close it. So I'm gonna now repeat. Now enter the password, A, B, C, one, two, three, four, five. So basically you have no errors at all mentioned anywhere. Process complete. Now, before we proceed right over here, if you go into the install me folder, this is your widget. Now you can install it. Let me just copy the path. This is your widget. Now you can install it. You have three options. You can A, install it. Now we did not close this window. We can come right over here and hit install app. We provide the location and then hit open. Now let's have a look at the watch. Your Samsung Health Monitor has been installed. Allow. There you go. 
this is the mod now if you don't want to install through that is in studio let's uninstall it so what we're gonna do disconnect from this close that is in studio and then we're gonna proceed and install it from the fit to installer so we go to option number two enter your IP address if the IP address is entered incorrectly fail to co connect so did you see an error yes I have seen an error why repeating process enter the watch IP so I remember the watch IP 192168 and 0 then 134 connecting now it says device unauthorized please please approve on your device ignore this I mean if the watch is not showing anything it's already approved never mind that that is show any errors and for no attempting to install it's almost 100% now it's 100% there you go the mod has been installed on your watch and there you go the third option and the last let me just uninstall right right so you're gonna proceed in this success exit and your Tizen Studio is done so your last option is to create an application and push it through your phone so I'm just gonna go and grab this a mod from the install me folder close this apk easy tool now you can see right over here everything is configured already you don't really need to configure anything so you're just gonna come right over here you have the shm installer so run apk easy tool and then hit the browse and go into the shm installer select it now hit the decompile, wait for it to finish. Open the decompile APK directory, open this, assets, delete this file. Now let's cut this widget, place it right over here. Go back right over here, hit the compile. The process is complete you can close this and then you can close also that now go to the recompiled this is your phone app and we're going to install this on the phone so I'm just gonna paste it right over here on the desktop so I just hit on the delete Okay, so I'm just going to move the file to my phone and then I am going to be back with you. Okay, now I am on my phone, so I am going to show you. Now this is the installer, but before I do this, I need to show you one more thing. So right over here on my watch, I am going to, once again, sorry about that, go to settings. Now there is no need for the Wi-Fi. So we go to connections, Bluetooth, switch it on go back Wi-Fi switch it to auto or switch it off it's up to you okay now we go backwards now we will go back go into Galaxy wearable right into watch settings and scroll all the way down about watch and allow the unknown apps right now we go to my files and hit the install. It says done. Now notice at the top in the progress bar it says transferring file. Please wait. In the meantime, while it's trying to show you right over here, as the file is being pushed from the uh, phone to the watch. It's not as fast as the, the, the PC transfer, which is fit to installer and the Tizen Studio, but eventually it will 
come right over here there you go Samsung health monitor with both BP and ECG okay now I can actually start measuring an ECG reading if I want to or not if your ECG reading is kind of like really like bad or like the graph is like really bad now this is not because of like I, I meant to do this on purpose because I want to tell you it's either because I mean your hands is moving it's shivering it's not stable or the watch itself is actually not stable um, another reason is if there's dirt or any dust trapped under so you can actually switch off the watch and give it a good wash under uh, warm water but not too hot and then dry it and then give it a bit of uh, time like an hour and then when you try, try to um, do a measurement again you will notice that the ECG uh, measurements is kind of going back to sorry about that so you will notice that the ECG will go back to normal or I'll actually I give it a bit of a bit of shake so and there we go good at that okay and there we go keep in mind that my readings are incorrect because I am not wearing it on my wrist so basically the BPM is incorrect that's another reason why you have the graph really bad because <laughs> the readings are on my finger right and i appreciate it if you could actually subscribe on my patreon or support me on my paypal it would mean a lot and uh please free free to drop any questions that you have or if you need any help um let me know in the comments this is a very simple tutorial way simpler than what it used to be and the tools are much more um, easier to use Thank you for watching. Have a good day.